Hey YouTube, what's going on guys? Hey, um, I'm here in truck, uh, still with CRST. Um, you know, I got a uh, a comment or email, whatever you want to call it, uh, from somebody which I won't mention their name. Uh, they know who they are. Um, if they're watching my videos, they know who they are. Um, Tell me not to send them any um, any uh, you know flyers, advertisements, whatever you know from CRST. Um, I do not have your address. I don't have anybody's address. I don't need anybody's address. I don't care to have anybody's address. Um, uh, just wanted that to let everybody know that I am not a recruiter for CRST. Don't want to be recruited for CRST. Um, I'm a company driver for CRST. I'm sorry, I'm a driver for CRST. Okay? Not not a recruiter, nothing. So, um, you know, please. Please, uh, you know, make note of that. You know, I'm not a recruiter. I'm just a driver. Driver, okay? Uh, they don't give me any bonuses if if you uh, if you sign up for CRST. They don't give me anything if, if you become a driver for CRST. They don't do anything. Okay? I'm just a driver. That's it. Okay? So, uh, anyway, um, just let you guys know, I'm still out here, still driving. Um, just like any other company, there's a lot of bullshit. But, you know, got to put the time in, got to get my experience in, which I got a year in. I have a year experience, okay, over, a little over a year experience, okay. I, I want more experience, so I can walk into a company you know, any company I want. Now I have, uh, you know, three boo boos on my record, and that was from uh, Swift, which was that was all me there, uh, and two was Covenant, and that was partial mine, and partial the co-driver I had then at that time, and uh, you know he just wasn't a good co-driver. He thought he knew everything. And because his family was in the business, and uh, but yet he was new, starting out, and, you know, just uh, wasn't wasn't good, you know. So anyway, since I left that company, came out with this company, got good co-driver. The first one I had with this company left, uh, and, and I really liked him. He was a real good co-driver, really good. Uh, the guy I got now, he's really good too. Um, you know, but uh, we'll be parting ways here probably within the next four months, maybe. Uh, four to five months we'll be. I'll, I'll be leaving the company, uh, possibly leaving the company. Because um, I'm in the middle of talking to uh, Prime and Gordon. So uh, I was going to go owner operator. I was going to go ahead and just. You know, go for it, but you know what? I'd rather just, you know, save the headache and go company driver. Have a team, either have a team, you know, a co driver with me, or just do it myself. That way I could just run eight to ten hours a day and, um, you know, park it, relax for. 10, 11 hours, jump back in the seat, and go again. You know, I mean, that's that's what I'd rather do. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's the way it is. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, I'm sitting over here in Ripon, California, uh, at the Lugs uh, in Ripon. Um, I'm... Uh, I got a summons in the, the mail um, a few weeks ago uh, to go to jury duty, 
so I'm going to do that. Um, and uh, so that's, you know, I, I live in Reading, so that's. I'm sitting here for to see if I can't get a load to go to Reading, California. Um, if they don't give me a load going to Reading, California, I gotta be home tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, if I'm, if they don't give me a load by, I'm gonna say tomorrow afternoon, then what's gonna probably happen is either I'm gonna deadhead all the way to Reading, uh, or Bobtail all the way to Reading. Or I'm gonna hop a train or something and get home uh, for the jury duty. And uh, uh, if I end up taking a, a train or whatever, um, then I'm gonna pack all my stuff up uh, off this truck, and that's it. I won't come back uh, because. Um, the reason why I say that is because, you know, this company should be a little bit more, or any company you work with should be, you know, more aware of uh, what's going on. You know, hey, Jewy, you're, you know, you can't get out of it like you used to years ago. Now it's, it's a must. Unless you're dying or, you know, you're nuts or something, you know. You can't get out of it. You've got to show up and go to Jersey. So, um, what's going to probably end up happening is, is, uh, I'm watching these trucks leave. Uh, is, uh, well, you know, you, you just can't get out of this, this stuff anymore. That's what you used to. So, anyway, that's just what's going on. I'm going to go. Uh, do the jury duty. Uh, once that is all done, uh, once that's all done, then I'll come back on the road for a few more days, and then I go home for home time. I've been out on the road for seven weeks, um, and uh, um, you know, it's because uh, my co-driver's got uh, waiting to be at. So on the on the eighth, I think he's got it. Uh, the wedding is on the 8th, so he's got to be home by his day, uh, next month, so. Yeah. That's all I got, just, uh, cheated action here, man. Um, so, uh, I'll be home on the 5th, uh, or 6th, and, uh, relax, you know, for 10 days. And then I jump back on the road and I'll be out for four weeks and do it like that. So, you know, I'm not saying this is a bad company or a good company or whatever. You know, I'm saying all companies, you know, do that. But, you know, from what I've seen so far, this company does have a lot of BS and, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just hanging in there. Um, uh, I'm going to go with a company that uh, will do um, better as far as uh, treating your drivers a little bit better. You know. uh, CRST does treat their drivers okay, but see, the problem with this place is, to me, is that um, your driver manager uh, knows what's going on. Okay, so. Once it's a weekend, or he goes home for the day, then the night crew or weekend crew to come in don't know what's going on. They, they think it's just a regular old day. Okay, here's your load. Go up to Oregon. Go up to New York or PA or wherever, you know, and, uh, you know, deliver this load. Well, they know that. Uh, or my drive manager knows that I gotta be home for home time. And he told me he'd get me home Sunday or Monday. So here it is Sunday. So I'm hoping when he comes in first thing Monday morning, he says, okay, either deadhead or bobtail, or pick up the load, you know, and, um, take it to stock and relay it, and then go ahead and dead at home. Or jump a train and we'll pay you back for it. You know, that kind of thing. So, anyway, um, 
That's where I'm at right now, man. You when you guys are still alive, still here trucking. Um doing good, you know, getting my time in. Uh more time, getting my uh boo boos all cleared up, you know, they drop off a couple of them drop off next year. So um, you know, we're right around the corner. So as soon as winter has come and gone and the new year hits, then you know, my stuff's gonna start falling off. So we do. So I'm gonna probably leave I I most likely will leave this company. I most likely will leave this company um January or February of next year. I'll I'll leave this company, which means I'll be with the company uh with the co driver eight months. Um and training for a month. So about nine months. So if I wait if I, you know, I might wait a full year being with this company. That way I can, I can say, okay, yeah, I was with that company a year with no accidents. And then they'll say, oh, okay, yeah, we'll hire you on, you know, because it's all recent. It'll be all recent. So, anyway, i got to run, guys. I've got things i got to do. i got all my paperwork to fill out. i got to scan some paperwork. So, you know, that's what's going on with me, brothers. Uh, take care. Drive safe. I'll talk to you as soon as I can, man. It's been really busy. I'm trying to get things put in order where I can get a, uh, uh, a video camera to where I can record and be able to pop it on this uh, computer and upload it. But uh, money right now has been short because we don't get that many miles. You know, I just the way these companies work. You know, so. Have fun. Ten four, man. Bye.